All right, I am live. Uh, hey folks, I'm PMC Trilogy, and I'm here to tell you the good news about Just Cause 1 Any Percent, which is a great speed game. Um, the timer starts when I hit new game here, so I'm gonna say three, two, one, uh, and go on, on go. Three, two, one, go. Uh, so Just Cause 1 is a 2006 game, obviously the first game in the Just Cause series. Uh, there are skippable cutscenes at the beginning and end of every mission. We can just quickly get out of those. Uh, so this first mission is mostly going to be an, an auto-scroller. I'm going to use that opportunity to kind of give some background on the run. Uh, one important thing about parachuting in this game, and parachuting honestly is more important than grappling in this game. With parachuting, uh, you you have like a, a sort of like swing set motion. And so, uh, does this run out? Yeah, there are some birds in this run. Don't worry. I mean, not as many birds in this round as there are in a Borderlands, but we'll do what we can. So the first thing we're going to do is get down here to the beach, and we have to clear some waves of enemies. We want the enemies to come forward because we really don't want to get out of here. Like, honestly, this is the sort of thing I would reset on if these guys weren't coming out quickly enough. But of course, this is a marathon. So once that first wave, more vans will come. This van we can just take out with a gun, and then... And then the last van, we actually only want to kill three of the four guys in this last van. Just one, two. And then we want to get out for the last guy because we need we need a pistol for something we're, we're about to do. Good work, Rico. See, we got back that pistol. We'll use that in a few minutes. But then we're going to get back in the Jeep. Uh, one of the other things is that the music in this game is going to come and go. And sometimes there's just no music. There's just awkward silence, so... I'm gonna try and do my best to make that as awkward as possible. So you might notice that I got this little white reticule when I'm on using a vehicle weapons, and the reason for that is that uh, there's kind of an auto aim. What I want to do is you can target the gunners of the jeeps separately from the jeep itself, and so I'm gonna be always intentionally doing that because my goal in this mission is really just to avoid taking damage. Like I can't, you know, I can't go any faster. I just have to avoid taking damage. You are able to switch targets by hitting right click, and there's no manual or anything online that will tell you this. So if you want to speed run this game yourself, and you should, uh, you got to hit right click to change targets while you're locking on like this with a vehicle weapon. So here we're going to come up to a roadblock, and the roadblock is why we have the pistol, because Rico's default pistols are awful. And so the pistol that we picked up is much more accurate, and so we don't have to walk forward as much to be able to make this shot. You may notice there, there's also these tutorial prompts that I cannot get rid of. Uh, there is no setting to get rid of them, so you just kind of have to have muscle memory for when they're going to come and, uh, and stop them. Stop them in their tracks. These weapons, they're just so powerful, don't you think? There's also a few helicopters, but we're, we're not really too worried about them. Yeah, no, this game is going to have some A-plus voice acting. Uh, for the most part, it's pretty tame. There's some stuff at the end of the game that's a little Watch wild, but... Doing, huh? Yeah, and this is just the road. So anyway, uh, I picked up this game in about April or May. Uh, it's my second speed game. The previous speed game, the only one I ever did was Just Cause 3. Uh, I think I did that at Shots Fired 4. And uh, Nord was the first person to run this game. He did a pretty good job with it. Uh, and then I came along in May and found some new stuff. And So I've gotten the... The world record for this game is now uh, 129.06. I got that on like Monday. But yeah, so we're just gonna have a little more of shooting these guys off the back of these jeeps. Uh, we're getting close. We got like another minute of this. But yeah, there's only two people who've done runs of this game. And honestly, the nice thing about this game compared to Just Cause 2 or Just Cause 3 is that it doesn't have the. Uh, the chaos point grinding of Just Cause 2, and it doesn't have the 
province liberation of Just Cause 3. So if your complaint about those games was, I really hate all the side stuff grinding, and you just want missions, this is kind of the Just Cause speed game for you. But yeah, so we're gonna get some jets that are gonna come in, and sometimes these get shot into the air impressively. It looks nice, but, huh, maybe? Yeah, no, no luck for us, sorry. It's a bad omen. Uh, the other, the one thing I will say about this game though is that it is a little unstable. I have made a bunch of safety saves uh, throughout you know, the course of the game that should hopefully help us avoid any time losses due to game crash, but it's, it, it is a possibility. So don't panic if you see a black screen. Uh, there are, during missions, there are sometimes cutscenes that are unskippable. Uh, and this is the first of those, which is just a short tutorial cutscene. There are plot cutscenes that are unskippable, don't worry. This game does have a good soundtrack when, you know, when it plays. <laughs> So once you get to this one, you know that you're able, you're about to move. Uh, so then we're gonna start the next mission right away. Again, every mission has CG cutscenes, beginning and ending, so you wanna make sure to ready to skip those. Also, generally when you do something new for the first time in the run is when you get those tutorial prompts. So for example there, this is the first time I got on a motorcycle. So again, you just have muscle memory, knowing when when's the first time you're gonna do something in a run. So you can be ready there, be there mashing enter. You have to mash enter. You can't hit space or something convenient. It's enter. Uh, more more awkward music time. Uh, you know this this speedrun marathon is uh, just for funsies. It's not a charity marathon, so I'm not playing Just Cause for a Just Cause. But you might say I'm speedrunning this game Just Cause. Uh, so here, one of the important uh, things that we're going to abuse in this game is uh, what, are, what are called stunt jumps, where if you're vertically above a vehicle, you can jump to it and get on it. So obviously that has uses for cars and boats, but uh, where it's really useful is for helicopters. Uh, and we're going to discover that in, in a bit, but for right now we're heading over to a prison fort to liberate a friend of ours. And so one of the things we're going to do here is we need to be able to turn this boat around. Uh, so we're going to go around like this. This game is, sometimes this game is chugging. You might know, you're probably noticing all right now that this game is sort of chugging back and forth. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Well, we're going to find out together though. Yeah, I know. You're probably all on the fence about this game. Rico is too. So we're going to take care of those guys just because they're a little bit of a risk to us and then hop over and we're going to get our first uh, uninterruptible cutscene. Go on, you filthy bastards. Slap me around some more, you dumb cowards. You can even kill me. Look how scared you don't make me. You bitch. We're going to see this, game, this guy again kill once myself. later in the run, but I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched any of the CG cutscenes since I started speedrunning this video game. Uh, so I have no idea what the deep lore is. Like, I really, really don't. Hey, you have made one very powerful friend today. We will do some great things together, eh? Viva la revolucion. Vámonos. All right, so we actually don't have to escort this guy. I know I, when I played Just Cause 3, I complained a lot about escort missions. But, like, there's really nothing bad can, that can happen to him. There's no way that anyone would ever kill Karamikus and that I would fail this mission on account of that. See? It's fine. Ah, sweet freedom! Soon, all of my people will drink from this cup. 
Meet me later at the gorilla camp. I like how he shouts that as he runs away. So there's a guy around the corner here who has a potential to throw a grenade at me. Um, but... Oh, he's not going to do it. Alright, never mind. This game is a cool feature where you can uh, press middle mouse button, mouse 3, and shoot grenades out of the air. Uh, it's kind of the one thing in this game that I actually generally wish made, made a comeback late in later games, but we only have it in this game, so. Gonna kill somebody. Anyway, as you can see here, I parked the boat very gently, and we're gonna peace out now. This is kind of one of the parts, if I were really to sit down and really, really reroute this more, this is one section I wish I could kind of figure out a better solution for. We need to go to a gorilla camp on top of a hill. And so far, the best way that me and Nord figured out was to just get to an area of water closest to the hill and then walk the rest of the way. It's extremely, extremely uninteresting and unappealing, but sometimes you just have to walk. You have to walk the walk. At least, you know, we actually don't do too much boat driving in this game, which is a good thing, since boats have never, ever been fun in video games. I'm sure none of you can name a good boat in a video game, because there aren't any, uh, and Hydro Thunder doesn't count. So here we're just going to pop out. Uh, one thing that's important to note for that, for that stunt uh, parachute, the height on the parachute jump is dependent on your your horizontal speed so I'm intentionally trying to make sure I get it at the point of maximum speed when we're going up this hill we have to make sure we get left at this point because the portion of the hill to our right here is too steep to walk or jump up And then we'll, we'll end the mission as we get past this rock here. Alright, so normally at this point in the game we would start using the extractions or the fast travel system to get to the next mission. Here we're so close to the start of the next mission that it's easier to parachute. Uh, and also, the next mission uh, starting location doesn't actually appear right away. We have to like wait for this dialogue to play, so it's easier to just parachute over there. Um, this is actually going to be our one taste of doing the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the liberations in this game. There are liberations in this game, but they're not required to do the story missions. Uh, a tiny little time save that I'm going to attempt here is that you're actually able to roll into this guy that I'm about to talk to. And doing that will skip some tutorial prompts. Yeah, actually, you can also just collide with him and lose health. Uh, but, you know, I try not to do that. So, the way the liberations work is that you kill a few of the police, and then you're able to destroy a barricade, and then you're able... And then after you destroy the barricade, you rinse and repeat for two more stages. Uh, it can still be worth it to, to shoot some of the police here, uh, if you're looking for more grenades or health, but we're pretty full up on both of those, so... I'm just going to go ahead. Again, you can see here I'm shooting the grenade to make it just blow up faster. And that's useful for me as well because that lets me get to the next stage faster of killing these dudes. Again, if you have two grenades that double explode on each other, that's what you want. That's the, the desired result. And I'm waiting for that audio cue, because once I hear that little beep, I know I'm able to get over here. And then I can immediately put the flag up. Uh, here we're gonna- we're at the whim of a little bit of RNG, because we need a car to get to the next- for This mission, Freedom Fighters, requires that we liberate two villages. Uh, so we've liberated one, and now we need to drive to the next one. Um, and then the game is screwing me over right here. Usually you can get a car on this road, um, but once in a while you just don't. So, here we are. It's the year 2018. We just gotta shoot at a car to get it to stop. Wow, this is, uh, thrilling gameplay from Just Cause 1. Here we go. Yeah, 
Okay, hold it please. Yeah, that's mine now. Uh, obviously, there's a range of cars you can get here. Of course, you notice I didn't go for the truck at all because that truck is super slow. You want at least some kind of relatively fast car. And then you can tell, extremely good handling. Uh, there used to be a lot more drives in the run. Uh, thankfully, some of the strats I'll show off later have taken out some of the drives that we used to have to do. But we still have this one. And we're just going to drive down to the next settlement with no music, no radio. It's kind of a sad GTA clone, right? It doesn't have a radio. Yeah, so I think this this uh, the history of this game in marathons is that I believe... Uh, Nord ran this in a GTA Marathon, and then later ran it at ESA 2016. Uh, and so this is the first time I'm running in a marathon. As I said, I only picked up this game a few months ago, uh, and it's been fun. It's been, uh, actually, I really thought it would be kind of a chore, and I, I got into it, so. But anyway, we're going to come around the bend here and get to the second village that we have to liberate. You can see there's a tutorial prompt, and then we're gonna. Oops. Usually, you don't. You'll sh shave. Uh, you know, just kind of bounce off walls like that. But anyway, we're gonna do the same thing here again. And again, we're we're still gonna be shooting some of these guys because we're looking for things like health and grenades when we need them. We're full up on grenades. Eight is the maximum number, and you can't upgrade it. That's some health. Yeah, so that's a useful grenade job there. That's the sort of reasons that even though I already killed enough guys to get this uh, barricade to be destructible, you want to make sure that you're you're taking care of yourself because you need that health for future missions. There will be some points later where we're going to be at safe houses and we can replenish our health there, but here we definitely need. Yeah, I'm a pro. I got some NA in here. Uh, Rico's pistols, unfortunately, his default pistols are kind of garbage at accuracy. That's one again, one of the reasons I picked up that pistol during the auto scroller. All right, so here we go. Here's the uh, the most important new trick in the run compared to previous instances of Just Cause One, and also the thing that I am the most nervous about. Uh, this is like a really easy thing to mess up, or at least to waste time on. So what I'm looking for here is I need a fast car. Yeah, come on back here for your next um, these cars. All right, so here we go. We got, we got, we got a winner. We're gonna try and aggro a hell, uh, a chopper. Uh, see that? Okay, so that one got too far away. What we need is for a chopper to cross over us. We're trying to hijack a helicopter, and the benefit to this is that we're gonna be able to basically cheese some stuff um i'm mostly listening to audio cues right now yeah if i had kept driving i probably could have gotten that one so i had mentioned earlier there's a stunt jump mechanic in this and what that means is that i'm able to once i get fast enough pop up into the air and then i am able to eh, 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 here we go okay good 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 that isn't like super good i, I would have rather have gotten it on the first pass but for a marathon we're gonna take this we're gonna take this and run with it so again once i was able to get above the helicopter i could do a stunt jump to it and uh, and then hijack it and that's we'll be doing this again later but it's going to be easier to do later for for other reasons i have like setups to do it but this one time the game is going to spawn infinite helicopters it's the, like the only time the game does this and we need that helicopter uh, because once we start this next mission uh, it'll stop spawning. It'll spawn like one more helicopter, and then those helicopters will stop spawning. Uh, this is also the point. You're probably wondering, like, hey, isn't this a Just Cause game? Like, where's the where's the grapple hook? Um, and, uh, and the answer is we just got the grapple hook now. And so there's like a window, if you're really feeling risky, where you could uh, chase, try and chase down that helicopter, that last helicopter, and then 
grapple to it, but like if you lose that helicopter, and it's very possible to, uh, you're, you're resetting the run, like automatically. Um, so I like my strategy better. Sometimes it's faster than going for the grapple hijack. Uh, and of course, you know, you're not going to be resetting every time. So here, one of the benefits to having this helicopter is, of course, first, we're skipping a drive. There's a whole drive. See that switch back there? Yeah, I used to have to drive up that in a speedrun. It was garbage day. Uh, but now, we just drive up here, and this guy's gonna spawn, and we're gonna murder the murder the crap out of him. It's gonna be great. It takes like five shots to get to the center of a limousine, and then he's dead, and then we go to the end of the mission. Easy peasy. We used to do a whole thing where you'd hijack his limo, and then you'd run him over with his own limo, and then you would drive the limo across this mountain. And anyway, it was trash, so uh, we're just going to do this instead. And we're also going to keep the helicopter, too, because the helicopter is going to be useful into the next mission as well. Why not? So here we're going to land it very normally in this nice street in front of this hotel. And that's the end of that mission. Alright, so here we're going to fly over to uh, the star of the next mission. Uh, this is going to be the last time we do something like this. From here on out, for the most part, we're going to be using the fast travel to get to the next mission. But, again, having this helicopter is super, super useful. You can see there I was waiting for a prompt. Again, game has nice music when, when it plays. And I'm being pretty pretty ginger with this uh, this helicopter right now because I don't want anything to happen to it. Uh, but we'll get rid of it in a second. Because unfortunately we're about to have the redux of my least favorite... Well, I shouldn't say the redux. I should say the ancestor of my least favorite Just Cause 3 mission. Or we're going to drive a truck full of coca, and we can't drop all the coca. So again here, had we been playing this mission normally, we would have driven a boat, we would have gotten a car on that road to the right, and then driven the car to this place, and used, uh, like, timed explosives on these towers, but we have, an ex we have a helicopter with infinite missiles, which is has a lot of utility. So once it allows us to target it, we will go ahead and shoot it. Pull that one. And then the one thing we do here is we make it so that we're targeting a guy behind the uh, white tower. Because the game won't let us untarget. Like, we have to target. <laughs> it is it is not optional. You must target auto-target things. Also, those guys are gone. And then we get our coca truck. Oh, that... Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, oh boy, oh boy. This has never happened before, but we're fine, we're fine, this is fine, we're all fine here, how are you? Uh, what happened there is that sometimes when you land helicopters, if you're holding down a directional button when you get out of them, uh, the helicopter will just become a hoovercraft, and will hoover across the ground until it collides with something, and then it explodes. Um, usually I'm being a little more careful than that, uh, but you know. Sometimes you just let sometimes you just let your helicopter slide across the ground and it explodes and knocks your cocoa around. Alright, so here we're trying to get our coca safely to the destination. And the the cartel spawns two types of trucks. Uh, one of those trucks has a rear machine gunner and one of them doesn't. The ones that don't have rear machine gunners aren't really a concern to us, but the ones uh, that do have rear machine gunners can absolutely shred this truck. Yeah, so it's not even the government that's really mad at us about hauling all this coca. It's actually the cartel. Yeah, again, my apologies. Sometimes this game just starts chugging. And uh, it's, it's interesting. All right, well, bye. Yeah, well, we didn't need those coca crates anyway. 
Uh, we actually usually lose that top layer, because the, once we get going fast enough, they just sort of wave goodbye and join their people. Yeah, as you can see there, the rear machine gunner trucks do a lot more damage. Yeah, this is Coca. Like, I'm in love with the Coca. Alright, so we're getting a little bullied by these trucks, and I, in the interest of safety, I'm going to start pulling some maneuvers. Alright, I think I lost them. That's good. Alright. Alright, good, 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 good. Excellent. So now we're finally going to get into like kind of the normal flow of the run where we're going to do this uh, fast travel. And the fast travel, all you need to know is you hit, you hit M to bring up the map, left to go over to extraction, and then enter to, uh, you know, to choose the top. And the top is always the briefing for the next mission. So it's, you don't even have to menu for it. You know, this is not an RPG speed run. I'm not going to make you do that. And you also get to see my million attempts to smoothly uh, par uh, parachute to the next mission start. Alright, it's the first time we're going to use the grapple. Grapple in this game is unfortunately not as cool as it is in Just Cause 2 and 3. You can only grapple to vehicles, then that's it. You can't just, like, propel yourself up in the air using the grappling hook. Uh, it's really just for getting two vehicles. Uh, so we have to kill a guy on this boat, and the way I'm going to do it is roll up here. So I, I, what I did there is I threw a grenade and then waited for him to throw a grenade, and then I shot the grenade. So he got killed by two grenades. It's pretty much an instant death for him. Get your butt over to the and then we go over to our next auto-scroller. Thankfully there's only two auto-scrollers in this game. Uh, and this is the second one. And then we're, we're done with auto scroller, so it's actually not too bad. Compared to Just Cause 3, which had like a million escort missions, uh, I will I will take two early auto scrollers. This helicopter is busting my butt though. Uh, Alright, we're gonna, we got a question from through here. Trilogy, do you think the material of your dinnerware affects the enjoyment of a meal? Paper plate versus fine china and that's one. Ah! I think, I think yes. I think I, I would say that I'm always, I'm definitely the sort of person who, who brings a takeout meal home and then uses my own silverware, even if they included plasticware. Yeah, I, I'm playing an auto scroller in a speedrun marathon. Ask me anything. Uh, this one isn't too long. This is, we'll be about another two minutes here. But as you can tell, it's kind of similar to the first one. Uh, they're helicopters and then they're, they're boats. Uh, we can target the gunners on the boats separately, but the railing actually does a really good job of protecting them, and so usually we don't kill the gunner before destroying the boat. Usually we destroy the boat first there. <laughs> I feel kind of bad now, I, I gave you a sincere answer, but like I'm trying to think of what like pun I would have used for, for dinnerware, um, and I just don't think I was ready to step up to the plate. So yeah, once we get to about 650 meters from our destination, uh, that'll be it, you know, then, then this will finally, this this vegetable prison will finally end. Yeah, that guy just kind of... Sometimes you aggro him, and sometimes he just drives in circles. Just cause. Yeah, so again, whatever reason, the, the pathing in the game takes the long way around. Uh, but once you get to about 650, this, this mission will finally come to an end. Alright, not too bad. 
Uh, and then we're going to extract right away. Uh, in later missions, when we come to these agency safe houses, we'll pick up health and ammo and other things. Uh, for example, we're going to do that after this mission, but here we just go straight into the next mission. Uh, would I would I say a building with three floors is a trilogy? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I really have an answer for that question. Uh, I don't know, man. You're you're asking the hard ones here. Oh man, we're getting some nice chug. <laughs> so this is the the second time of two times that we'll ride the motorcycle in this game. Uh, and it's a little a little froth peril, but thankfully we ha the early part of the drive is pretty easy. It's really the later part of this that can be a little dangerous. A lot of finding driving routes in this game is just uh, picking places that are reliably not full of trees. There is a little jump up here, and I have a, I have a history of like, yeah, putting. One time I put myself straight into a truck and died right there, and I did not see it coming. But here we're fine. So this mission, we have to hijack a limousine, and then after we hijack the limousine, we're gonna hijack a helicopter and go kill someone. Uh, it is. It's definitely one of those missions that you you can't do stuff to go faster. You can only uh, let things happen that slow it down. And it's especially easy to die hijacking this helicopter. This, the helicopters in this game are usually pretty straightforward to hijack, but the one that we're going to deal with up here is a true monster and hates me in every every way possible. All right, so here we're going to pop up, pull out our trusty grapple, make sure that we actually go to the limousine. Uh, this, so the jump to vehicle command, very useful, but also very context sensitive. There's no way to target which vehicle you're going to jump to. So you just have to kind of hope that you're going to jump to the right one. Uh, this is an armored limousine, so it's pretty healthy for sure. Uh, but the biggest risk is not so much the limousine getting blown up as it is the tires getting popped. I actually haven't had a tire popped in a while. And I'm sure it definitely won't happen right now. Anyway, we have to drive up this mountain for a little bit. We have to go through about two more turns, and then a helicopter will spawn, and we can hijack that helicopter. You can kind of freak out the jeeps by just doing uh, doing left, right, left, right, real quick, emulating the struggle. And then once the once the the enemy driver sees the struggle, he'll just bail. Oh wow, interesting. Alright, so once we round this corner here, the, the helicopter could spawn anywhere. It's just, yeah, okay, so it's gonna spawn back there. Uh, that's not terrible. I gotta make sure I don't get run over. That's important. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go towards it, and then I'm gonna let go of it. Uh, and then pull towards it again. So I need to either come at it from like the side, or yeah, here we go. I need to get a jump to vehicle command because uh, this guy, if you try to reel all the way into this helicopter, nine times out of ten, you just slap your head against it and die. So what we need there is we need him to freak out and dive, and then we detach our tether and use the jump to vehicle to hijack it. And so then we're going to take this helicopter over to kill this guy. This is another situation in where knowing that right click allows you to change which uh, person you're targeting uh, is really useful. Because the guy's just over here in like a hot house or something. Bathtub. Hot tub. Bathhouse. There we go. Do I have any idea who I am? Please and please do not hurt. Oh god, no! Yeah, he's dead now. Okay. 
So now we're gonna do the same thing, extraction, and then we need to get these real quick. This this is actually really, really important because we need health, we need those guns, and we need those guns to be full of ammo. Uh, it's gonna be really important, not for this mission, Brothers in Arms, but it's gonna be necessary for River of Blood, uh, which is the following mission. This one's pretty straightforward. Whoop, all right. Yeah, sometimes you get a little chug while you're doing the parachute and you come up way short. Alright, so in this mission, we're going to help out one of our gorilla friends and help her take her to an arms deal. Show her a good time. Uh, interesting thing about this, uh, Nord tried to figure out if there was a way to do this mission faster. Uh, and he did a bunch of things. So we're going to come up here and we're going to get to a clearing and there's going to be our friend Esperanza and her truck um and if you blow up her truck she dies if you like push her truck away like really far away and blow up the truck she still dies uh, her life is irrevocably linked to this truck and there's really nothing you can do about it except you know bring the truck so we gotta talk to her One and then we get in the truck a small price to pay for a revolution, can you? Depends who's pay. Ha! Let's go. My apologies. Yeah, so Esperanza says we're gonna, we're gonna drive a truck, and then there's gonna be an unskippable cutscene, the and then they we're gonna the kill trucks. the guy who double crosses us. Away. End of story. So, vamonos. Thankfully, it's a pretty short drive. It would be, it would be really wonderful if we had. You can like take the truck, he, like he, like park the helicopter oh, here, so and then drive back, and then bring Esperanza's truck. But that still takes too much time, and it's it is. You can kill this guy pretty quickly on foot, but it's you know it would be nice if you had a helicopter with infinite rockets. Sam threes still in their wrappers on the trucks. May I? Of course. Enjoy. Uh, do trees have collision in this game? Yes, the trunks do. The branch is done. So yeah, they, they double cross us. And there's an option here actually to start another auto scroller. Uh, but that's dumb. I mean, if you're playing the game casually, you could do that probably. It would be fun maybe if you're into that. Yeah, that, so go into that truck if you want an auto scroller. But we're going to take this one. Thankfully, this truck is really strong, because I've gotten hit by that rocket all the time, and it does nothing. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but... So, we need to chase down the guy who double-crossed us, and we're going to do a little a little maneuver on him, a little hijack maneuver. So, we're going to just kiss his truck, jump... Oh! Uh, oh, what? All right, folks, that's never happened before. Eh, all right, well, that's unfortunate. No, come on. All right, well... Oh, God, that guy. Okay, well, you know, look, folks, just uh, close your eyes. Nothing to see here. Uh, he's Yeah, that guy's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, boy. Alright, so what happened there was I should have uh, gotten in the driver's seat, but uh, the, the game kind of rejected me. And now what happens is this guy actually speeds up a lot. So, uh oh, the moment I say that. Alright, what? Okay. So, yeah, I don't know, that's weird. It's not letting me get in the, get in the Jeep. Alright, we're going to try this again. So you see there, I, I hit a jump to, uh, it, what it was is I hit a, a jump to vehicle prompt and it just sort of ignored it. But that's okay, we're, we're gonna try this again. Yeah, I don't know, this game's really chugging. It's usually not like this, I'm gonna be honest with you. Alright, so we're gonna do this again. I'm gonna jump to it. 
use vehicle. All right, there we go. That's what should have happened. Um, I don't know why it just bumped me off before. Anyway, all I have to do is run him over, and then the mission ends. So that's how what should have happened, but struggle is real. <laughs> yeah, that one guy was having a little little trouble, but anyway, we're on to uh, drive more boats. Uh, so this mission used to have a, a, a strat where we'd be trying to sort of preserve the life of the first boat we get. Um, I was never. Oh yeah, look, there's the guy dying from there's the previous your mission. Uh, just ignore that. Close your eyes. Don't look at the top of the screen. So we're going to take this boat, and we have to get to a train where we're going to destroy uh, three fuel tanks on a train. You might think that we would do it using this super cool boat we have that has like missiles and machine guns, but uh, you can't actually get to the fuel tanks with the weapons on this thing. So that's the reason I picked up those weapons before I did Brothers in Arms, the previous mission. Alright, so once we get a little closer here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow down. I think I, I mentioned before, of course, that the speed that you pop up into the air is, you know, proportional to how fast you're going. So by going a little slower here and pulling out our trusty assault rifle, we're going to get a chance to just kind of get up on this and destroy it pretty quickly. Yeah? It's a big target, Rico. Come on. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go forward in this boat, and then. Uh, but I hate boats, so a helicopter is gonna spawn here. We're gonna pop up in the air, hijack that helicopter like you do normally, and we're gonna take this helicopter to the end point of the mission. It, it might be, if, if there was a way that you could reliably preserve the, uh, the the boat, it might be faster to take the boat to the end mission point, but it's so hard. It, 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 you know, I don't know, I had sort of looked for it, but it already despawned. It despawns almost immediately as soon as you look away from it. There are other helicopters that spawn, but they're not aggressive enough to be an issue. And then, thankfully, we don't even have to get out of the helicopter to end the mission. We just have to get in the general vicinity of the endpoint. Of course, yeah, normally we'd be driving a boat here. That's sort of what they want you to do, but we're not going to do that because boats are bad. All right, next mission up is Field of Dreams. Uh, kind of similar. Uh, if you remember destroying uh, uh, marijuana fields in... Um, in San Andreas, in this mission, we get to destroy a bunch of coca fields, a bunch of cocaine fields. Uh, there's a few things that can happen here. Um, one of the things that's going on in this game is that there is sort of a civil war, right? And so, the way the game simulates that is that there are these random conflicts that happen all over. And there's a chance that a helicopter can spawn here. So, it's pretty low chance. We, we, I mean, okay, we haven't got, I'm in a helicopter in the air, obviously, there's, this helicopter is always here. Um, but we're listening for a second helicopter. We can't hijack the helicopter that dropped us off. Uh, so what we're going to do is the normal Field of Dreams strat. And the normal Field of Dreams strat that I use is a crop duster plane. Uh, in the previous, uh, strats used by Nord, he would use a, a sprayer cart. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the sprayer cart. I found that the sprayer cart was too risky and... 
kind of slow, and then I discovered that there was a crop duster plane, which, um, I'm still kind of refining my use of the crop duster plane. Uh, and, um, it, it's, it could almost be faster than the, the strategy of using a, a missile chopper, but... We'll see. Because it's, it's hard to aim. You're going to see, obviously. It is, it is very much an actual crop duster, where I'm just going to get in this guy, and then we're going to try and spray these six fields. Yeah, the game sometimes teases me where I can hear helicopters in the distance, but uh, anyway. So we're trying to line ourselves up for, for runs on these fields. Alright, see, I got, I got the one that I was actually aligned with. Alright, I got that one. Once we get three fields, uh, an enemy helicopter will spawn. And that's going to be real useful for us. So we're going to just hijack that right away. Yeah, alright, so I missed that one. There we go, I got the checkpoint. Helicopter spawned, so I'm going to bail out and then grab this helicopter, <laughs> as you do. Again, stun jumping to, to planes is a uh, helicopter. This is maybe my favorite thing to do in this game. So we're going to grab this. There's really no danger to us at this point because no more helicopters are going to spawn. So we just got to hit these fields and then move on. There we go. So then we just have to return to the start point and that will be the end of the mission. Um, you know, as you can tell there, getting the best runs and getting the, the crop duster to be a reliable strat is definitely the biggest issue there. Um, and then also, my, my gold split for this is impossible just because there it is possible for a missile chopper to randomly spawn near the start of this mission. And then you just use that and destroy all the fields right away. So that's that. That's definitely a, a risky, risky business. But next mission, if you remember Karamikus from the very beginning of the game, we're finally going to meet up with him again uh, after we do another short ATV drive. This will also be the only time in the game we'll drive the ATV. There is a road up here that you can follow that does a little bit of a little bit of a switchback, but uh, there is a pretty clear path uh, up this hill as a direct route. As long as I don't hit that tree at the top there. Yeah, ATVs are very weird in this game. They're sort of, I mean, they really are like a, a bastard cross between a motorcycle and a car. I remember one time I, I was doing this and somehow I angered the police and three of my tires got shot out. Uh, but actually it drove better with three of its tires shot out, so, you know. Yeah, shots fired. Alright, so this mission coming up is going to be involve uh, doing some protection. Uh, over a two minute time period. There's going to be four waves divided into 30 second segments each. Uh, and guys during a 30 second segment will only spawn for 
uh, 20 seconds. Uh, when I go up to my friends, I'm often rolling sideways on the ground. It's called to see you, ruffling friend. or rolling on the floor Keep laughing. Keep the army bastards away until I finish my speech to the people. Comrade, the studio is There is way. a risk here that Karamikis just freaks out. Yeah, he, he's got a little bit of a problem. I don't... Don't worry, the enemies aren't much better. Oh, I anyway, yeah, so... What's gonna happen? Uh, that guy, he'll get in that door. Uh, normally there is supposed okay, to be audio of him making a speech right now. Um, but this game is broke, and so nine times out of ten, you won't you won't hear the audio of the speech. Uh, I think recently I had a situation where I had to restart the game, at, like right before this mission, and I actually heard it for the first time. So what you want to do, as much as possible, you want to hold off, because once you get past 40 seconds, you're able. No more guys will spawn for the remaining 10 seconds of a 30 second segment. Yeah, so 20 seconds of dude spawning. This one's good because they got a long way to walk, so I can just kind of admire my, my my eyebrows. And my dudes, yeah. And then once you get past that 10 seconds, you can safely kill them and no more guys will spawn. Hope you guys brought your earplugs. I mean, those guys are ready to drop a sick album. I like to use the shotgun here again since I'm waiting for them to get up close, and uh, it saves ammo on my other on my other gun, which is a more useful gun for me. God, no! I actually have no idea how close they have to get for them to fail. It's never actually something I've tested, so but it's pretty safe to let them get close. They're trying the back door, Rico. Hurry up! So here I'm actually going to break out this gun since I want to use it a little bit more. Uh, one of the strats for getting rid of clusters of guys is to use a grenade like that. Since you're able to take out a whole group of them. And then once you get past that last 10 seconds, we just need to run towards this ramp. Now get under the ramp and blow up that big antenna. This country is about to suffer one serious loss of salsa music and propaganda. Unfortunately, we can't change the arc on our grenade throw, so we have to wait until we get kind of low down the ramp before we can actually throw the grenade to, to end the mission. Alright, it's time for the worst two missions, or actually, I keep saying that. Um, this is kind of the part of the game where we start getting to a real high risk of the game crashing. Um, this one isn't too bad, this mission's going to be called Love is in the Air. Uh, the next one, uh, it, like, there's like a real strong chance the game will crash, but again, I made a safety save, folks, so don't worry about it. Nothing bad's gonna happen today. Usually the way I greet my boss is by parachuting in and then starting a dialogue as I'm landing. So here, we're going, flying up to a base, and there is going to be three places that we have to drop beacons. Uh, we're going to go to the lowest place by altitude first uh, because that is the only place that we can land at without getting hit by SAM site missiles. So we're going to keep real low. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there is a potential for this mission to gl glitch out for audio reasons. Uh, but we're good. We're fine. This is this is fine. Yeah, so here, we're going to land the helicopter right here. Again, no SAM sites hitting us, and we just got to get out here. Sometimes you shoot guys as they throw grenades, and then it backfires.
Right, so there's the first beacon. And that guy just spawned into existence. You see what happens when you make me angry? Alright, here we go. We're gonna so now we're gonna go to the second place uh, by altitude. And we're gonna get rid of this chopper. Uh, an important note about bailing out of choppers, do not bail out of a descending chopper. It's a bad idea. What's gonna happen is when you bail out of a descending chopper is that um, the button <laughs> that says uh, deploy parachute will be context sensitive and will default to uh, jump to vehicle. And then you'll jump to a crashing helicopter and you'll die. I've done this many, many times. Alright, so here we go. We got the second beacon. Now we're going to use the grapple to get to this jeep over here. Uh, this is probably the riskiest part of the strat. We're going to use this jeep to do a drive up to the top point. Yeah, so there's going to be two types of jeeps that spawn on the road. Uh, there's going to be very big jeeps and then uh, still pretty big jeeps. So there's, there's the very big one. We want to we want to avoid these guys. Yep. Okay. We, we're we're in a pretty fast one, so we can get around them. Um, but like, if you get <laughs> if they hit you, like, just you need to get one of their jeeps because this thing is made of paper mache. There's gonna be a guy here. He's gonna take some pot shots at us. But thankfully, we didn't get shot too much, so we're not at risk of exploding. So we, yeah, again, there's the final beacon point is all the way up here, but there's a very good reason we went to this one last instead of uh, getting to the um, using the helicopter to get, to get to this beacon, and that has to do with the fact that once we lay the three beacons, uh, we have to go to a uh, hit a computer that's nearer to this location than the other. Oh. Those missiles are long range, big enough to hit the eastern uh, seaboard. It's important that you have to actually stand on top of the railing in order to be uh, high enough off the ground to un use your parachute, otherwise you'll just drop. Initiating launch sequence. All personnel evacuate the I, Yeah, I mean, the Jeep that Rico was driving on a scale from one to Jeep was probably about a three. sequence for the missiles. I guess El Presidente means business. Let's show them we do too, huh? It's a long shot, but maybe you can reprogram one of the missiles to come right back. Yeah, this uns this unskippable cutscene is very borked. Uh, sometimes it plays right away, sometimes it takes a little bit, sometimes there's no dialogue. Um, it's, I don't know, it's How much time not stable. Enough. God damn, more black hand. So we just have to slap this computer and, the and there, then son. jump off the cliff. And we're good. That um, rocket launcher there is extremely important. Because um, we're going to go to I've Got the Power. Actually, you know what? Power. Actually, you know what? No, 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 I no, have no. a safety save. I have a safety This is the mission where if you're trying to learn this game, the, the game will crash. And it'll crash at a very specific point, too. Uh, you're going to hear me freaking out when we get to that point. Because I'm going to be real worried. All right, first thing we do here, and this is something I do differently from uh, from Nord Strats, is that I'm going to get an agency boat. Uh, and the reason I do that is because I need to go fast. What? Oh no. Why? Uh, sh should I be stopping? I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing Shattuck say oops in the chat. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, you're good. Okay, I'm good. Good, we're all fine here. How are you? This is fine. All right, so uh, we're gonna hop out here, and then I'm gonna take a helicopter like you normally do. Stop right there, uh, Just double audio. <laughs> all right. Halt, so we're gonna grab this helicopter from that boat, and what we're gonna do here? So there's a lot of sham sites on that castle we're flying over. 
And what's going to, and there's a helicopter up here that we want, but instead of going to that helicopter right away, we're going to bail on this helicopter, uh, pull our parachute, pull out our rocket launcher. We need to blow up three targets here. So we're going to take our sweet time blowing those up. I think we got it, right? Let me just make sure. Okay. So now this uh, this young man here uh, needs to come with me. What? No. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> oh my god. What? Where? Oh my god. Where was I? I. Ugh. All right. Whatever. Fine. So right here is where the game could crash. Uh, so give me, you know, give me some bless. Yeah. Uh huh. Yo, folks. I think we got to run. We got it. We're gonna we're gonna play this video game to completion. All right, that's good news. All right, so we need to take care of that helicopter. That guy's bad news bears. We need to destroy that target, and then we need to leave. Oh crap! All right, so this. Oh no! All right, right there, jet fighters appear, and they can kill us, but we were good there. So we're good. We're good. This is this is great. Alright, so now we're on to uh, what's mostly a helicopter mission. Uh, it'll just be me shooting helicopter, uh, shooting helicopters. God, I wish. <laughs> shooting missiles at a train, uh, which is really what you should be doing with your life. You shouldn't be escorting trains. I mean, I kind of want to shoot helicopters now, like out of a gun, a helicopter shooting gun. It sounds like it'll be sick. So what happens here is that a helicopter spawned by the game is going to come and pick us up. Uh, we can't grapple to it. We can't get into the driver's seat right away. We just have to wait for it. We have to get in the passenger seat. Which is funny too because when this mission actually starts we're going to be in control of this helicopter. Uh, so I don't know why the game puts us through this whole exercise. Hey Rico, grab the stick. Doesn't fly itself. Grab the stick, Rico. Thanks. Doesn't fly itself. Train's leaving. Hurry up before it gets away with all that rockety goodness. So there are 25 rocket parts on the train. There's also three SAM sites. Uh, and then while we're pursuing this train, two helicopters will spawn. And it's important to take those helicopters out right away because this helicopter isn't too beefy. So we need to protect our helicopter. Shit! They got Sam's on the train! Keep your head down and your eyes open! Yeah, you can see the little parts down there, and I'm just sort of holding down left click and letting it rip. So we can just look on our, our mini-map and see where it spawns. If we're really lucky, it'll spawn right in front of us. And that's the easiest, because we don't have to turn at all to deal with it. Uh, it is not okay to eat Doritos as a breakfast. So we're going to get another spawn here. Hopefully it'll be in front of us again. Alright, so it's a little a little below us, but again, just gotta take care of it real quick and get back to destroying the, the plane. Here it can be useful to kind of target forward, because that uh, there's like a blue box there on the train, and that's uh, making it harder for me to shoot these elements. Good work, you sure made a now, uh, an enemy vehicle will spawn, and we need to uh, hit that enemy vehicle. Yeah, the, the super scientist spawns in like a tiny... Uh, some enemy helicopters are going to spawn. I need to take care of them. Because this helicopter is made of paper. Alright, it's pretty good. Alright, so this is really good because sometimes this guy can kind of get away. 
uh, and then we have to catch up with him and finish him off, but this was nice because we were able to get rid of those helicopters and get right back to him. And that's that mission. Alright, oh, oh. Yeah, menuing is hard, folks. Don't, don't, don't menu uh, alone. Or don't let friends menu. I don't know. Oh, crap. Wait. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I made a slight mistake there. I should probably should have gotten that ammo. Alright, that might come back to oh, haunt us a little bit. I was just so relieved that we didn't crash the game. We'll be fine. Alright, so here we get to hijack a helicopter. Oh wait, do we have a... So there is a chance that we can get a lucky helicopter in this mission. No, I think I only hear one. Alright, never worry. Wait, wait. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Where? Yo. Alright, good good news, folks. Fantastic news. We have... Oh. Well, maybe. No. Alright, here we go. Alright, so this makes our life way Stop easier. Right there, citizen. We just get to kill the pilot, and then we just drive, we just fly right away. This is, again, a lucky helicopter. You're not always going to get this helicopter. But if you do get it, it helps you kill that guy quickly, and then uh, skip a drive. And so our objective here is that we need to go and grab this very, very fancy looking helicopter. Alright, I'm not shooting that guy, he's too close to the helicopter. So we just borrow this nice little one, and we head to an arms fair at the airport where we're gonna take out some enemies. Again, game has a nice soundtrack when it is playing. One of the cool things about this airport, if you're ever playing this game casually, there's a way to make, uh, planes just drop from the sky. Uh, I forget how it works, but if you look it up on YouTube, there's clips of it, and I think it just involves um, like doing some kind of like despawning thing where the, the, the pilot of the plane despawns, and so you're just hanging out at the airport and all these planes are just falling from the sky. It's pretty wild. <laughs> not useful in a speedrun, but not everything can be useful in a speedrun, sadly. So we just got to touch uh, this little platform here Rico, and then the our enemies spawn and we have to just target them, them. oh clean shot at them from all right there we go <laughs> get the hell out. so i made a slight mistake there i didn't make sure i had my rockets out but it's okay we're it's not a big deal uh here there's gonna be some risk of getting shot by uh jet fighters as oh wait we actually don't have heat all right so one of the things you can do in this mission is if you kill them really 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 quickly um, you just somehow avoid having heat, because there might be some point where the game clears your heat. And, uh, and so yeah, we, uh, we killed some guys in the middle of an arms fair, but no one's gonna chase this helicopter, because it's just not a big deal. And we just kinda go, you know, back to our CAA safe house. Yeah, thank you for the good luck. Alright. And then we go to our next... Uh, so now we're going to have the two city missions. Where we're finally going to be in a, in a dense urban location. Oh, I probably... Yeah. Usually I don't bother running over to that place, but I probably could have there. It's true. I was just trying to help with their arms fair by demonstrating the helicopter. I don't know what they were so mad about. All right, I'm gonna embarrass myself here by like hitting myself against the wall. That's sort of the quickest way to get down. Uh, unfortunately, the game doesn't spawn cars quickly enough, 
uh, for me to go out to the alleyway and wrangle a car. Uh, we need a fast car to spawn. Okay, uh, all of those up. are Back trash. Are headed for the bank to escort the money transport you want. Hurry up and jack that truck before they show. Oh boy, come on. Give me a nice car. There we go, there we go, wait. No. Woo! Oh, crap. Oh, no. Ah, uh, damn it. Sorry about that, Shaddix. I thought I'd gotten rid of that. Uh, we were having audio problems before, and I did something bad. Um, crap. My uh. wife. All right, so here we have to drive to a bank, and um, and so we have to hijack a armored car at the uh, at our destination location and drive the armored car to an underground garage. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the instructions explicitly were to not have that happen, and, uh, and I couldn't fix something, so, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. Folks, nothing to see. We're just gonna drive this armored truck back to our destination and, uh, and live our lives, and it's gonna be fine. Uh, this truck is pretty hardy. We really don't have to worry about it getting shot. Uh, the only real risk of driving this armored truck is uh, flipping it. But it's pretty much a straight shot to the destination. Oh yeah, don't try <laughs> don't drive the truck into the water either. That would be bad. But um, yeah, I think I flipped the truck on this mission at least once, so. Uh, we're not gonna do that here. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. See that curb right there to the left? That's uh the story of worlds, but no, nope, no big deal here. We we're out of this. Easy peasy. Uh here we can't actually fast travel because we're underground. Uh but there are no cars in underground car parks. Cause that would be ridiculous. So we have to do this walk of shame up to the street and hope we get a car. A good car. Here we go. Alright, so then we're gonna take this to the start of the next mission. The last few times I've done this run, I've actually gotten lucky helicopters here, but uh, seems like no such luck this time. So we have, we're gonna do a little little ramp off a hill, and then go over to this mission start. Oh, all right, yeah. Usually you don't drift. Oh, wait, Rico, Rico. Okay. Oh, no. Sure. You know what? The more I know, the less I understand. And then we're going to drive back the way we came so that we can help our friends who are trying to bust up a police station. Missed. Yeah, so we're supposed to be attacking the police station, but first we need to me meet up with, uh, yeah, meet up with the Maculata. Uh, a lot of things can go wrong here recently. Recently I've had a lot of problems. Uh, I've had police officers show up and either run me, run me over or run Immaculata over. Good both of which will, again, of course, uh, kill can the mission. Can you help us bust into the prison? We need all the help we can get. Alright. 
right, so thankfully I still have one rocket, or otherwise we. Okay, well we're leaving that car. Uh. All right, so we needed that gun anyway. That was actually worthwhile to kill that guy. And then we blow up the door of the police station, and then we get inside. If you're fortunate enough to get a helicopter here, you can pretty much just fly over the top of this place. It's, it's very funny. And, and someone else blows up the police station. Alright, so have you been waiting for the infinite jump glitch the whole time? Here we are. Uh, it's only really useful here, unfortunately. The way it works is that you have to switch between a one-handed weapon and a two-handed weapon. Um, and that's, that's really, you just kind of do it at the right point in the animation. You guys really want to play with me? Look! That bastard Carmona! He's escaping! And jump the vehicle. And that's the mission. Easy peasy. Uh, there is, it's really important right here to not draw any heat. Super, super important. Like, don't run anyone over. Don't do nothing, because you will jeopardize your ability to get an extraction if you do that. Yeah, I really wish the infinite jump glitch was useful in more places in this run, but, you know, it's it's a very outdoor open world game, and so uh, fences being an obstruction isn't really an issue, except for that one mission. Is there another helicopter? No, okay. So here is my, actually my least favorite mission in the game, Sink the Buccaneer. Uh, we need to grab three briefcases from a base, and then uh, go to a boat, kill some people on the boat, blow some stuff up, enter some key codes. Um, there's a lot that can go wrong. And also, we have, like, no health, because none of the guys uh, in the previous mission dropped health. So... There's probably going to be some death here. What's bad about this too is that it's actually really hard to... Because this this dinghy is kind of slow. Um, it's a little hard to actually get up this hill. And I'm not convinced though. It's, uh, it's slow enough that it's worth it to get an agency boat for this one. Because we can still walk up the hill. But you're, you're going to see me here. I'm going to try and get... Uh, Oh, wait, okay, well, the good news about this is that a truck is uh, good enough for us to jump, because the target's big enough. When, you can tell when we're in parachute, it's like a vehicle where we're auto-targeting, uh, and we can't not auto-target. All right, so we're just going to barrel down this door, and then go ahead and grab us some briefcases. You still got it in you? I would like one of these guys. Some of these guys can drop health, but like it's definitely not uh, likely. Oh, hey, hey hombre, what a nice guy! I just lose it. Shout out to that guy. Hey, did you bring me He's my tequila? Real... Oh, I didn't bring you your tequila. No? Sorry. My bad. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna get this third third briefcase, and then we're gonna try and wrangle us so. uh, this helicopter. This one's pretty go. difficult to get to. Uh, Make use of that underwater scooter if you want to stay clear of the Triton patrollers. Yeah, it kind of—it doesn't really like us. But Watch again, we can doing, use huh? the detached tether, and then jump to vehicle, and it makes it much, much smoother than just reeling all the way in. Because there's a real risk that you're just gonna die. So we're going to this boat in the harbor. Uh, what's going to happen is that those red crates, you can see one there in the cutscene. Uh, we need to blow the doors on those uh, and then also get up close to them and press key codes 
Uh, and we're gonna try and do it. It's gonna be interesting. So normally I would have had a rocket launcher here to help me out, but I didn't pick up ammo for it, so... Oh god, that's a problem. Alright, so instead of using the rocket launcher, we're just going to use uh, the grenade strats. You, can, you don't even have to be in front of the crate to enter it, you can actually just sort of be off through the door. You screw it um, break out! So good news, we're not getting too aggressively shot here. One day, my mosquito friend, I'll have the upper hand. No! All right. Well, that guy had a health pack. I would have loved it, but oh boy. Okay, wait. Well, I didn't. Get... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna walk around in that thing blowing up. No way. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh no, it did open. Oh, dang. We're good. We're good. Okay. And then just jump off the boat. Oh wow, someone just lit me up there, but we're fine. This is fine. Uh, sorry about the heart beating noise. Uh, the health does regenerate a little bit and it will stop when it finishes regenerating. Uh, and so now it's on to the final mission of the game. The final mission of the game taking out the garbage is in three parts. The first part is the most uh, substantial part, and the one where things can go wrong the most. Although, the part three is also pretty, pretty bad. Uh, this is very much like that previous helicopter mission where we have to wait for a helicopter. We don't actually get control of this helicopter. Instead of, instead of giving us a heavily armed helicopter, the CIA just dumps us. Which is probably how the CIA would actually behave, let's be honest here. Uh, the helicopter actually damaged me <laughs> as it was coming down, uh, which is why you heard the little harpy right there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so the premise of this mission is that the dictator we've been fighting the whole game has retreated to his private island, and we have to hunt him down and kill him. See a little dinghy there? That's all they're giving me. They just like, they're like, get out. <laughs> all right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drive forward a little bit and then uh, the game's gonna get very mad at us and we're gonna pop out of this thing and hijack a helicopter like you do. Whoa, yeah, there you go, like you do. <laughs> Hold citizen. Uh, the old strategy for this, for some reason, was stopping your dinghy, standing on top of your dinghy, and attempting to grapple a helicopter. Um, I, I did not want to do that, so I didn't do that. Uh, it was the original Just Cause any good. Uh, I don't know if it's good as a casual game, but uh, I like it as a speed game. Please kill him. Oh, okay, so... Ideally, you'd kill him on the first pass. It's really important to not stop because you're being chased by like a million Samsite missiles right now. So. There we go. And then the president will flee to his mountain hideaway and we're gonna pursue him. A lot of this part of the game right now is just not dying. It's just the game The game is spawning things in front of you and it is angry at you. And you must continue to not die. Also, the audio is kind of wacky right now. Uh, but I think we're fine. There should be audio playing. Yo, shout out to that guy walking up the hill next to the silo there. 
All right, so we should have had audio during some of that. So I'm gonna make a save at the end of this because uh, that's a little worrisome. Stop right there, citizen. Oh boy. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna level out and Stop then right there, citizen. Uh, jump out of my chopper because it's kind of unsafe to land the, uh, the helicopter. The helicopter is right a real there. big target, so in the interest of safety, um, I'm just gonna make myself kind of hard to hit and end the mission. Uh, we're gonna make a save here because uh, I'm really concerned about the audio there. Uh, sorry again about the heartbeat. We kind of got <laughs> hit there after, oh, after we ended the mission. Uh, so this is part two. All that part two is about is chasing down some missiles. Stop right there! Yeah, there's supposed to be dialogue playing. We might, <laughs> we might be restarting the game. Uh, oh no, we're good. We're good. We're fine. This is fine. We're all fine here. I mean, I, I, I really like Just Cause Three. Just Cause Three was my first speed game. Um, I was really into it. I, I acknowledge it has flaws for sure, though. It's, it's kind of a buggy game, and uh, there's a lot of escort missions, sadly, but it's got good movement. I'm hoping Just Cause 4 fixes some of these issues. We'll see. Alright, so we have to just uh, not get murdered for a while now, uh, which is a little hard. It's there's not a consistent way to escape these guys chasing me. Yeah, ignore it. Children, close your ears. Don't listen to that. All right, so one more thing. The, the, for a while, my biggest demon was this mission. And specifically, there's a part coming up where we have to jump from the jet plane to a cargo plane. Uh, and it was a real problem for me. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get rid of some of these planes by flying through the city. Yeah, you can see they're shooting at me. I like the helicopters that spawn just in time to shoot me. Stop right there. Just in time helicopters. They're blessed. So yeah, you can see the plane just came into view there, and our last really, really hard thing that we gotta do right is get onto that plane. Um, this is something I messed up a bunch, but I think I've been I've been getting it consistently in practice, so you know, I believe. There isn't like a good direct way to do it. You just kind of have to go into oh, stunt position over top of this plane, uh, like so, and then jump off and jump to vehicle, and we're good. This is no no problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. Now the only problem here is these guys are kind of deadly. All right, good, easy fight. So we gotta do one more thing. We gotta actually plant explosives on the president to make sure he explodes. Uh, there is supposed to be dialogue here, but uh, I guess we went too fast. Just, uh, you know. Something about Air Force One, I think. Or, you know, I don't, you can look it up on YouTube. He's just doing stuff, guys. I don't know. He's a dictator. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use our parachute to get more uh, horizontal movement. So we can get him under us. And then we're going to dive down. And that's it. Oh, sorry, timer. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to actually get the explosives. So the time was when the, the cutscene appeared post um, 
I'm sorry about that for the timer. Uh, actually, I should note that I was using a timer myself during that, and that's actually a world record run. Uh, that was a world record by about uh, nine, uh, seven seconds. It's a 128.59 by my timer. Um, so sorry, <laughs> sorry again. I should have said time was coming up. I just did not expect that strat to work. Uh, my bad. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, that was pretty exciting. Thank you. Yeah, that was well worked about seven seconds. Um, uh, thanks so much, Shadix, for letting me run. Sorry again about the alert. Um, blame KZ Fru. What a punk. Uh, thanks to Nord for being the first guy to speedrun this. And uh, thanks all you guys for watching. So, I'll see you all later.